Right, I'm at Holford. I've got a type of plan. But it depends how hot it gets and all that sort of thing. Whether I manage to do it. It's a risky time of year to come out, of course. It's uh, tick time. So, that is a bit of a worry. But here we are, the village of Holford, Somerset, with a little map. I'm heading for Bickernola Post up the top there, going up that valley in a minute. There's Alberta parked up. It's about half past nine in the morning. I've been coming here since I was about seven or eight years old, off and on over the last 60 years. In theory, I should be coming back down that track there on the return trip. That's the theory. Going up the coombe to Bicanola Post or Bicanola Post and then back along Hairnap Hill. I'm doing this bit quite early because um, this is going to be a lot of hill um, I'm going to be doing now so I want to get that bit out early in the day. Now I did have a massive headache yesterday. I had to take two paracetamol which is very unusual for me. Um, but I do need glasses so I think my eyes are playing up. But anyway, we're, this is, we'll see how we go. I mean, I've got, I've got a huge rucksack on my back because you, you've got to carry a lot of water now. And um, I mean, I am heading for a village. There might be a shop there where I can top up. I've got no idea. But I'm heading for Crocom Church. Whether it's too ambitious, I'm not really sure. Might not be the best day to do it on. It's supposed to be very, very hot today. There's a house there with a garden on the roof, look. Last time I came up here it was Zara. I, had, I got two massive tick bites. And it took ages and ages, about six months to get rid of them. <sighs> They'll be flying in the wind, everything. But never mind, it's got to be done. I got a friend who lives in this village who got Lyme's disease from just walking her dogs up here. So it is a risk. But you see, you get them in the winter, but this brings them out the heat. Like I said, my rucksack's weighing a ton at the moment. But you've got to go out prepared, you see. You've got to carry... I forgot to bring a hat, but I've got a light top that I can wrap up around my head as a hat and over my neck later. I've also had to bring a windshield. Weather can change. Pat lunch, oranges, water, um, first aid kit, inhaler, just in case. I'm always a bit sluggish when I first start off. Always a bit sluggish. This is the early part of the walk. I'll be turning off shortly. This is just an introduction to Holford Glen. <sighs> the 
the reason for one of the reasons for doing it in the summer this is um the light evenings some of these walks if you started doing them um, in the winter you it wouldn't you'd run out of time it'd be dark before you got back to the to Holford So I haven't got a clue how long it's taken me, so I, all I know, of, it was about half past nine. I'm not rushing. I'm just do, you, doing my usual plod. What's that say? Planning permission. Oh, I can't be able to read that. Something to do with the yurt. It'll be, it won't be too bad going up through the valley. Like I said, I've been coming here for years. It's all explained on other videos that I've done in the past. Where we came here as, with the junior school. Came here with my dad. Came here with friends. Um, came here with my kids. We've all been here together, sharing this wood. And there's deer here. Like I said, if I start feeling a bit dizzy or anything, I'll probably turn back because, like I said, this massive headache yesterday. It's and I don't get headaches, and I have been feeling a bit lightheaded. I thought about that, but I thought, oh, I don't want to sit in the flat all day. So when you haven't got a garden, to be confined to the cabin, when it's weather like this, it's like, you know, it's like being a prisoner. So I'm just going to have to see how I go. Might have to just do a small walk. Be better than nothing. I'm making a note of this on the camera because um, you know, you just don't know, do you? Nice. Give me some clues. I haven't even told anyone that I'm, I'm coming. Jolene and her kids are in France. I don't hear from much from the others. Um, just a bit on Facebook now and again. Not a lot of communication at all, really, anymore. Things change when everyone grows up, and I've left my the family home was sold. Um, I can hear the stream. Uh, I used to, I do know the history of all this around here, but uh, I'm not going to retell it all now. Right, over and out, everyone. <laughs>